afternoon. This is Hamdog Steve, hoping you're having a great day. And uh, I came into the greenhouse today, and guess what I saw on my tomato plants? A whole bunch of tomato worms. So this is just a quickie, show you what tomato worms look like, and uh, trust me, these little babies can eat through an awful lot of your tomatoes. Uh, once they get going. Uh, I only found four so far in uh, different phases of um, growing uh, so you'll see as they go from small and black to large and green. Uh, now I put a toonie there uh, just to give you some kind of idea of the size of these things. They're absolutely huge, they're about the size of your index finger and uh, as you'll see they sure can chow down. Right, you can see by that toonie there that they are pretty big and uh, this one here doesn't like the heat but look at that little whoops look at that little baby that's got to be at least three inches long and about a half an inch in diameter and they will continue to eat and eat and eat and there you go, look I don't know whether you saw uh, that is what their pellets look like yep, definitely on the move now you can see they're quite aggressive with each other huh? I was kind of surprised at that. See? Wow! And there you go, there's the face head on. Interesting the critters you find in your garden, huh? So here we are, this uh, was absolutely full of leaves this morning and these guys have just chowed down on all of it. They just got home and we're going to be cleaning out this little container here and I got this idea from uh, raising monarchs. This is exactly what you do. You just have a container and you let them grow and they will pupate and we'll see what they look like as a moth. Anyway, this process is quite simple. I've just washed out my container, but you can see that there are holes all the way around the container. And uh, in the top of the container too, a good airflow. And uh, this is what you do with the monarchs. You just put uh, milkweed in with monarchs, but of course with these uh, tomato worm, uh, they are going to get tomato leaves. And uh, we are going to see what they look like as a moth. They grow into the most beautiful moth, I'm told. And so you uh, fill the container with leaves. That's about half full. I put the uh, caterpillars in and I will be covering them up with a bunch more leaves and that will all be gone by tomorrow morning. Uh, maybe I'm giving rise to more and more decimation of uh, tomato plants, but uh, apparently these moths are fantastic pollinators. And so, um, well, you lose some and you win some. Okie dokie, well, I hope you found this interesting, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe below. And in the meantime, this is Hound Dog Steve signing off, wishing you a very great day. Take care now. See ya. Bye.